Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. So today, I kind of just want to do a laid back video. Get ready with me to go nowhere. I just kind of wanted to play with makeup. I got a lot of new makeup from PR, and so I figured why not just test it out with you guys and kind of just hang out. So I hope that you guys enjoy more laid back videos like these, and I hope that you enjoy this video. So if you do enjoy it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. I feel like I look like I'm about to go to church with this shirt. There's gonna be a lot of new products today that I'll be testing out. I'll try not to spend too much time on them because we do have a lot of products and I hate making super long videos because I don't know if you guys like super long videos. Sorry, I'm opening these little clips up. By the way, I will be sharing my discount code with you guys. Some are affiliate, some are not. Use them if you want, you don't have to, but, but obviously, a lot of the companies that I have PR from, I usually am an affiliate or have codes with them. So I'll just put them on the screen, but like I said, you don't need to use them if you don't want to. You do you, boo. I wanna show you guys a fairly new product that I actually haven't talked about at all in any of my videos. So this is the Benefit Cosmetics Brow Microfilling Pen, and I have the shade Light Brown. So this is essentially a faux microblading pencil. See how it looks like a little comb? that actually gives you strokes. So it's like a marker pen that gives you strokes. I actually do like these. The only reason why I haven't really showed it in a video is because I did get this in PR and I didn't get to choose my shade and I did get the shade light brown. Normally a light brown shade of brow product wouldn't be bad for me, but since this is more of a subtle hair-like stroke kind of marker, you can't really tell. And I'm sure a lot of you guys already know that I, I actually do have microblading, but I do think that this looks really good on my brows if it was darker. I would use it more often, but I have uh, tried it out and I really enjoy it. I think it lasts a really long time. The actual marker part of it has a lot of pigment. It doesn't really dry out or anything like that. And it is comfortable to use because I have used some that actually kind of hurt because they're a little, you know, pointy, but they're very stiff. So it kind of hurts. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I do like it. I think that this for a natural look or a no makeup look would be really nice. With foundation and a full glam, I just need my brows to just be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here. And once I put foundation on and everything like that, I'll go ahead and like reapply some brow product. I wasn't planning on using this in this video, but why not? Let's just put a bunch of new stuff in the video. This is not new in general, it's new to me. So this is the Juno & Co Moonshine Miracle Cream, and it is like a primer miracle cream. This is about the fourth time that I've used it. A little bit goes a long way, um, so you do get a lot of product. I actually really enjoy this. Um, I have more normal to dry skin, so I do like a hydrating primer, but this is more of a smoothing, hydrating, prepping cream, and I really enjoy it. I feel like a lot of people rave about this, so I'm glad I finally got my hands on it. I really like it. I feel like it definitely makes my skin a little bit more smooth and hydrated without greasy, and it does give a nice base to the foundation. So, um, I figured I will let you guys know. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my skin already looks a lot nicer. So I don't have a new foundation, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use, I have a concealer that I wanna try, but it's a little bit light, so I'm not trying to go too dark with my foundation, but my skin is pretty dark. Oh, my skin might be a little bit lighter than my body, but we'll make it work. <laughs> I'm gonna be going in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. This is in the shade Medium 100W. Um, if you guys watch my channel a lot, you know I'm a freaking obsessed with this foundation. It is my current favorite foundation and has been since the day it came out. It's lovely. If you have normal to dry skin, you're gonna freaking love this. So it's definitely too light, um, and probably a little bit of the wrong undertone right now because I am pretty like red right now We're actually gonna be trying out some like liquid bronzers and I think that I can make this work I know I look super yellow right now, but let's try out a concealer that is not new but I bought it because Sephora was having a 50% off sale from and Kathleen light raves about it. So I figured I like Kathleen lights. I'm gonna try what she's raving about. This is originally $30 and I got it 15% off and then I used my points. So I got it for $5 free shipping. 
So this is the Cover Effects Power Play Concealer and it is in the shade G Plus Medium 2. I definitely felt like these two shades wouldn't work too well together, so that's why I went with a little bit of a lighter foundation. It says that this is a high performance, high coverage concealer that covers dark under eye circles, redness, and imperfections with long lasting wear. This is a weightless crease proof formula that brightens and smooths fine lines and helps prevent against pollution. All right, so um, if you saw me making faces, it's because I didn't realize how damn yellow this was gonna look. Like this looks like a beigey tone, and then when I put it on my eyes, I feel like on camera you can't tell as much. Well, you might be able to, but like in person it is yet low. So I definitely need to get another shade. It, off the bat, it gave me like medium coverage. I don't know if I put on enough. I'm, you know, at the end of the day, I just love my Tarte Shape Tape and my Too Faced Born This Way, and I just prefer higher coverage, but I can appreciate a medium coverage concealer. I just want to see if it's buildable. Again, I don't want to spend too much time on this because it's not new by any means. I actually really like it. It is definitely a very, very thin consistency, but it gives you like a good medium coverage. So I like how lightweight it is. It's not kicky at all. And it almost looks like I don't have that much product on my eyes. Like it's very, very thin. So I really do like that. So, so far I do like it. I am definitely gonna get a different shade. So I'm quickly just gonna set my under eyes with the Haley's Beauty setting powder because we are gonna still use cream products on the rest of the face. Okay, so for blush and bronzer, I'm very excited about this. This is brand new from Deck of Scarlet and it is like a spray blush and bronzer. This became available a couple weeks ago. I know they're not brand new but um, they're brand new to me and I just got them in PR. So this is called the Mistake Proof Bronzer and Blush. There's four bronzer shades and four blush shades. It also has a double-ended brush that, you know, they recommend you use with them. So it does say to shake the bottle and then hold the bottle an inch from either the fluffy or angled brush and then wipe off the excess and then you can just put that on your face. Okay, so I have swatched them but I actually haven't applied them on the skin. This packaging is so nice, so sleek, so heavy. It's glass and it's like just super, super chic. I love it. So this shade that I just swatched is Untamed, which looks actually, this looks like this is what I should use because it matches my skin tone. That shade right here, the last one, Carnal, is definitely more warm tone, and this one is definitely more on the reddish, cooler tone. I think I'm gonna use Carnal first, and then if we need to go darker, I'll use the darker one. Okay, and then you put any excess on your hand. This is definitely like a very luminous looking product. Oh, wow. It's coming off more pigmented than I thought it would. Oh, that looks really pretty actually. So like you can definitely go a super natural way with it or build it up. As you can see, it is very dewy. It is giving me like a very liquidy, watery, yet dewy finish. Um, not watery on my face, but like when I do spray it, it is pretty watery. But it's super thin, so, but a little bit does go a long way. I wanted to try this out on camera because I think that this is very innovative. I just get excited when companies do something that either it hasn't been done before or I just haven't seen it because I feel like nowadays it's like everyone does the same thing all the time and this is like a very cool innovative product and a lot of us right now are really into creams so I just feel like it's a perfect time to come out with a product like this. Very pretty. I'm going to go ahead and take the other side and kind of just finish blending it. Let's just go ahead and try out the darker shade, which is called Untamed. I think I want to use a different brush to maybe kind of contour with it. By the way, I'm not even doing full sprays. I'm doing like two little like that. Like I'm not doing that much uh, product actually. And if you're wondering, this does come with... 0.94 fluid ounces, so almost as much as like a standard foundation, which would be one fluid ounce. I did powder right here, so obviously it looks a little odd right here, 
but I think it'll all come together. I'm gonna go ahead and use the blush. So first we have this shade, it's called Shameless. I think that this would work for a lot of you. It looks very pretty. Okay, and this is your orangey, corally, really pretty brazen shade. They both look really pretty, but today, even though I'm wearing a white shirt, I think I wanna go for more fall vibe makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Shameless. And I'm gonna try something different, just for fun. I'm gonna spray it on my actual hand, and then maybe pick it up with a brush, just to see like if it works in different ways. So that's really, really pretty. I really like these. Um, I like everything, I will link everything down below. If you guys are interested in trying something new and something cute. So I am going to set it and as most of you guys know, I do like to set my creams with the NYX High Glass Powder in the shade Medium 02. This is my go-to powder to set any creams because this keeps your luminosity. So it's not going to mattify, but it will set. Moving on to Pixie Beauty, I got these brand new palettes from them. There's eyeshadows and face palettes. They're like this. They have nine shades. This one's in the shade Hazelnut Haze. Then we have this one, which is called Rosette Ray. This one's in the shade Honey Nectar. It has two highlighters, a bronzer, and a blush. And then this one's in the shade Sugar Blossom. It's just like the other one, but this is definitely the more pinky one. Let's go ahead and just play real quick with the face palette. So again, this is Honey Nectar. This bronzer is definitely not gonna work, not even for contour for me. It is very, very light. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip on that. And I'm just going to use a little bit of the blush just to top it off. I know we already used blush, but I figured why not try these out? It looks so dang sunburnt with how much blush I put on, but it'll be okay. And now I'm gonna try this highlight, which is like a very pale, oh, there are all my brushes, hey. Here are the two highlights. I'm gonna go ahead and use the gold one all over my face. I will say upon swatching it, it feels a little chunky, but we shall see. It's actually my first time trying Pixie highlighters but there's some duos that everybody raves about. I wonder if this is the same formula? Okay, definitely super blinding. I went in with a pretty light hand. Um, it's a little bit on the drier side. It looks pretty on camera, but I can tell that it's not as creamy as like their blush and bronzers, but nothing that a little bit of setting spray can't help. Um, I do like this, but I definitely don't think that they came out, I mean, I know for a fact they didn't come out with enough shades. I'm not sure if this is all the shades they have, but usually with Pixie and PR, I get all the shades of everything. If you're like me or darker, you can't really use these because this, unless you don't care about the bronzer, but this bronzer is way too light. I like it. The highlight is, like I said, it looks a little bit dry, but it's very blinding. So if you don't mind just setting that with a setting spray to kind of make it like blend more together, but it looks pretty. Probably not gonna go to this very often, but I'll make sure to keep it for a future full face of Pixie. So for eyeshadow, I don't wanna make this video too long, so I am going to put some music on and speed it up, but I did decide to use this. Again, this is Rosette and Ray. I wanna do like a very dark, smoky <laughs> fall look. I don't know why I'm wearing this white shirt. I like, I, I wanted to, like, even my nails are fall. Why am I wearing a white shirt? But we'll make it work.
All right, I'm back. So let me tell you guys, by the way, I went ahead and put some tinted brow gel on my eyes. I use, or my eyebrows, on my eyebrows. I use the e.l.f. tinted brow gel. So I actually do enjoy this palette a lot. The colors were very pretty. They blended really nice. The mattes have a very, very nice creamy formula. The only thing I will say is that the shimmers are very lackluster. I prefer a more vibrant shimmer. Like I usually have a brighter inner corner, but um, if that's not something that bothers you, if you like a more natural shimmer, then you would really like this, but um, that's the only thing that I didn't love. I do like the compact, as a really nice mirror, and like I said, the actual matte shades are gorgeous. And you probably saw me using a little canvas to cut my crease. Um, I wanted to show you guys, this is actually brand new from Gerard Cosmetics. It's called the Clean Canvas Eye Concealer and Base. So they're new shades. I have the shade Medium. I've had this for a while. It is very, very nice. This is what it looks like, but they did come out with more shades. They actually came out with a white, a fair, then we have Medium, and then a cocoa. I wanted to try out the white because I actually really love doing a matte cut crease. I think that if I would have just layered this purple shade on my lid, it wouldn't have come out as like bright and pretty. I used a little tiny bit of white and I put it right here. It went so, so far. I know that this looks like the tiniest little pot, but I literally barely made a dent on the excess on the lid and I was still able to use it for both of my eyes. So they're very, very nice. I just wanted to share with you guys. It is $21 and I do have a coupon code for I believe 30 or 25%. So you can definitely get a good deal with my code. I personally would use it for like cut crease, but for those of you who get very creative with your makeup, um, definitely check these out because I feel like these would be very nice bases for you guys to get super artistic. So for lashes, um, I wanted to show you guys what I've been enjoying, which is Glamnetic. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen all these like PR unboxings, but I've been really into Glamnetic Lashes, which is a company that has reusable magnetic lashes. I have tried magnetic lashes before and I didn't like how the glue situation happened, the magnetic glue, because um, I tried some for my lore and you have to do like three coats of glue before putting on the magnetic lash and it's like that's more work for me. I actually got a PR box with um, a lot of their brand new lashes and uh, they also have press on nails but Baby Girl is definitely my favorite style of lash. I actually really enjoy this because they came out with felt tip magnetic glue liners. They have black and green. What? They have black and brown. And I like this because you only need to put one good layer, let it dry. They say to let it dry around 80% and then stick on the lash. And it actually works really, really easily. Just make sure to do a line thick enough for the magnets. I actually really like them because they're very easy to wear and they do last a while. I'm gonna say though, I don't think that they last longer on me more than the regular lash glue, but I really do like it because it's very hassle-free, very easy to use. And for me as a YouTuber, man these are so easy to put on for a video and then pop off and then also I mainly wear these to like dinner like I don't necessarily wear this if I know I'm gonna be wearing the lashes all day long but I will wear them to a night out or a dinner for a couple hours and it's just the easiest application ever did you guys see how quickly I applied them by the way I put a little bit of NYX on the rice mascara on my eyes. So it looks like that is it for all the newest products. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I'm gonna be using the NYX Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Spray. It's a nice spray. And for lips, I have fairly new, like, Koki Cosmetics glosses. So I figured we could use one today. I already know I like the formula. These are just newer shades. I think I'm gonna use the shade Unspoken, which is like a mauve that matches my nails perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the lip liner from the NYX in the shade Mauve. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with the Lip Veneer Cream Gloss in the shade Unspoken. These glosses are very pigmented. They're very creamy. Nice and thick, but not goopy or sticky. And it's almost like a liquid lipstick with a gloss. It doesn't dry down though. 
Okay guys, so this is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and just kind of hanging out with me. I know this was like a super laid back video, but I hope that maybe you guys got ready with me to go nowhere as well. And let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos. Again, make sure to go follow me on Instagram if you want to see PR unboxings. And if you're not getting notified, because I know a lot of people are subscribed and have their notifications on and they still don't get notified for my videos, make sure you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or like my Facebook page because I always, always, as soon as I post, I tell you guys that I posted with a direct link. So I figured I will let you guys know that. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys very much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!